Okay, so I'm just going to start off by priming both of my eyes with the Lorac Pro Primer and then I'm going to use the Tamana palette from Anastasia and I'm going to take the shade Bangle and I'm just going to put this on the crease as my transition color and then you just want to do this for both eyes. And if you guys are wondering what kind of blending brush I'm using, I'm using the BH Cosmetic Blending Brush from their Equal Tools set. And then what I'm doing is I'm just blending everything out really nicely. And as you guys can see, I got my new ring light in and I'm super excited because my lighting is so much better now and I just love it. So after you put bangle on your crease, you want to go back in with chocolate with a flat shader brush. And then you just want to put this all over your eyelid and then just kind of blend it up with bangle. And then just make sure to do this on both sides. You guys know what's so funny is that I filmed this around 10 p.m. at night and I was not finished until midnight. So I just wanted to put this tutorial for you guys because New Year's Eve is already today and everybody's going to go out and party. But with the chit-chatting, I'm just going to go back with the fluffy blending brush and then I'm just going to blend chocolate and bangle out so that they just kind of blend together and doesn't look so harsh. And then after I'm done with that, then I'm just going to, you know, add more of the chocolate because it kind of disappeared while I'm doing that. So just make sure to do this on both sides and then just kind of blend everything out as you are putting on your eyeshadow. Next, to define our crease even more, I'm taking Tote from ColourPop and this is a matte orange color and I'm just going to put this on the crease and just kind of blend it out with chocolate and this will give it an orangey effect look to the crease and make it look even more dramatic. Next, I'm going to take a small flat shader brush and I'm just going to take Sangria from the palette and then I'm just going to put it on top of chocolate on both eyelid and what this would do is that this will create a nice ombre effect from the lid to the crease and overall so I'm just putting this because I don't want my eyelids to be too pink or too brown and this would just kind of balance it in the middle and then after that you just kind of want to take your fluffy brush again and just blend out everything to get rid of the harsh lines So this is the final look after you're done blending and then after that we're going to add some glitter. I'm taking the color Slay from ColourPop and I'm just going to put this on top of Sangria and you want to make sure that you don't want to bring this up to the crease just on the lid. So you just want to slowly pat that on. This color is a little bit hard to put on so it took me a while to just kind of put my hand in that color and then put it on my eyelid. It took me like five times so just kind of be patient with it and then it will just turn out really beautiful. Beautiful. And then again, I went back with my fluffy brush and I just kind of blend everything out to kind of mix everything together so it looks nice. And I just kind of went back with tote and just kind of blend it on my crease to make it more poppy. So this is the look and as you guys can see, I put my mascara and eyeliner on and then this is the final look. I didn't record myself doing my foundation and lipstick and all that stuff because it was a little bit complicated and this video will be super long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you guys have a happy New Year's and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.